Well, hey, what's up, YouTube? You're with Got That Funk, and this is a video response to Manic Mads and her video, Sense of Place, where she was talking about what places in the world you find yourself, you know, most at peace or whatever. Mads, I've discovered your channel a couple of months ago as a result of a shout out that was uh, by Just Kiss My Frog, and I think your channel's great, and I hope some of my viewers will check you out and uh, decide to subscribe. Anyway, uh, your video really sent me thinking, which I'm grateful for because I'm a pretty well-traveled person. So trying to decide my favorite place is kind of akin to trying to figure out my one favorite song. It's difficult because you have so many different criteria competing with one another to uh, make this kind of determination. You know, what's my favorite place visually or what's my favorite place to be in uh, on a repeat basis? What's my favorite place in terms of uh, contemplation, etc., etc.? And I would have different answers probably for all of those. But since your videos seem to be talking about the sense of the place and the, the, the way it appeals to your senses, I've decided that rather than say, oh, Alaska, which is, used to be my favorite place for a long time, or I live in the UK now, and uh, a lot of the best places I've been to in the UK are ancient sites, uh, you know, places that were put up 40 or 50 centuries ago, that kind of thing. Um, because they sort of humble me and give me a, a sense of history and a sense of time that otherwise is lacking in normal perspective. But if I'm being absolutely honest with you and with myself, I think my favorite place in the world is in the sky. Uh, I went skydiving um, in 2007 and it was without a doubt the most rewarding experience of my life uh, other than the birth of my kids. And um, the sense of exhilaration and achievement is something I wanted to do ever since I was a little boy and there's a moment when you're in free fall which lasts about 30 seconds from the altitude I jump from but there's this moment where the winds rushing past your face and the earth is just spread out below you in this beautiful blue and green uh, panorama and for a few seconds there it doesn't seem to be getting any closer and you seem to be quite still just sort of suspended and it's an immense feeling. I highly recommend it to anybody who's got the ball to do it. Anyway, so uh, I hope it's not cheating, but my favorite place on Earth isn't actually on Earth. It's in the sky, you know, a, a couple thousand feet up. Anyway, uh, thank you for your video, and uh, until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.